We end tonight with a legacy of peace. John Lennon's son, Julian, taking a stand for Ukraine with the legendary song he wouldn't perform publicly until now. Imagine there's no heaven It's easy if you try It is one of the most recognizable songs in the world No hell below us Above us only sky A stirring anthem of peace and hope Imagine all the people And last night, at a benefit for Ukraine, John Lennon's son Julian honored his father's legacy, performing Imagine publicly for the very first time, something he had vowed he'd never do. Nothing to kill or die for. Of his decision, he writes, the only time I would ever consider singing Imagine would be if it was the end of the world, but also because his lyrics reflect our collective desire for peace worldwide. Sharing all the world you go You may say I'm a dreamer But I'm not the only one I hope someday you'll join us opportunity for us now around the world to say once and for all it is time for peace thank you all right Stanini. e la cantante ucraina Katerina Pavlenko canteranno il brano Imagine di John Lennon come messaggio di pace My whole career I played with Ukrainian players, I played with Russian players, and I played with American players. And all of them great guys. And right now I stay with my friends, with my real friends. We win together and we lose together. And all of us want peace for Ukraine and for the whole world. Yes, the call for peace is emerging around the world. But if we want peace, we need to look at what causes war. The primary incendiary action is violation 
of sovereign boundaries. Listen to President Biden as he makes it explicit. Don't even think about moving on one single inch of NATO territory. We have sacred obligation. We have a sacred obligation under Article 5 to defend each and every inch of NATO territory. Therefore, if we want peace, we must start at our borders. Which leads us to the following Declaration of Peace on Earth. 1. Respect all existing boundaries. They exist and should be inviolate. This could be done very soon. These nations will agree that it is self-evident that violations of these boundaries are an extreme insult to the common goodwill of humanity and peace on Earth. As boundaries are honored, the people of our Earth are finally free to celebrate the glorious expression of who we are on this planet, our living mystery in the universe. And then, let us explore and revel in the wondrous diversity of humanity at peace on Earth. As the global quest for peace emerges, we can together imagine all the people living for today in the next 128 weeks. We hope someday you will join us.